Once again, good morning. Frankie Goris, co-owner of La Bella Havana with Taste LBH of the Month. Today, we're gonna to be cooking camarones a la cacerola, shrimp casserole. First, we start by heating up the pan. I like to put the shrimp in, so like that, it can just get a nice little color before I put it in. This is a dish that is very, very easy to make and very fast. All right, we put the garlic, let the garlic simmer up a little bit. Get all those nice oils and flavors out. As you can see, it turns over really fast. Right as soon as you put that, we'll put in the onions. Peppers, red and green. Just flip it over a little bit. Just let it cook for about a, about a minute. Because this is going to cook more once you put the rice and once you put the, the sauce, the tomato sauce. I always like to simmer, especially the shrimp casserole, with a little bit of white wine. My preference always Pinot Grigio because of the flavors that it has. See, right now, flip it over a little bit. See that the shrimps already have a nice little color. The shrimps are already almost cooked. What we're gonna do next is uh, salt and pepper to taste. Again. Marry those great flavors that is there. If you were here, you would smell how great all these components get when they're all together. You can just smell it. Now, as you can see, take over a little bit of uh, tomato sauce. It's just regular tomato, crushed tomato sauce. We're gonna let it cook for at least about a minute. Let it simmer down a little bit more. Reduce it to about half of what it is there. Once you see that it's getting like that nice dense red color, then it's ready. You add up the rice, and I'll show you, give me a, in a few minutes, I'll show you how we do it. As you can see, it hasn't even been a minute yet, and it's, and it's, and it's already reducing. You just wanna keep it up a little bit more, so like that when you put the rice, it has a nice reddish color. Okay, and now we continue to proceed with adding up the rice. Just put the rice, you can put it right in the middle, just back in a row. This is about a cup and a half. It's already cooked, it's very easy to cook rice, and it's always like whenever you have leftover rice, it's always nice to save it. So like that you can reuse it the following day with dishes like this today. It makes everything so much faster and easier. If you cook everything together, believe me, it's, it's a much better flavor because everything is marrying, but at the restaurant it tastes the same. Make sure that everything is nice and red all over, all the white rice. Okay, now we plate it on a, on a casserole. Make sure that it's oven resistant to at least 350 degrees, 400 degrees. Because we're gonna put it up now inside the oven for a good 10 minutes. Let the rice Settle in with the shrimps and give it a nice crunchy little taste that it gets while it cooks on the oven. And now, we put it in the oven around 350, 375 degrees. Leave it there for about seven to eight minutes, maybe 10 minutes, depending on how, the quantity of the rice that you have, how big the pot is. But since this is a portion for about two people, this is pretty much good enough. Now, it's been already seven minutes. And now we garnish it with a little bit of cilantro, just to give it a little green color on top. And, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Que la aproveche. Camarones a la cacerola. Buen provecho.